Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie and we're going to work on a new homecoming chain today. It is called the teardrop chain. It is super, super simple. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, I am using 5 8 inch ribbon and for each teardrop you are going to need two cut at 8 inch two eight inches. Let me use my rotary cutter. You're going to need two. Y'all, I'm cutting four <laughs> because I'm going to make a couple of them. You're going to need two cut at four inches and two cut at six inches. So four, six, and eight inches. I'm going to put two of these together uh, with you, and then we're going to put the chain together. Okay, now that we got them cut, I'm going to make my first set of teardrops. So, I'm going to take the two of the 8 inch. I'm going to do the silver on the outside, green on the inside. I'm going to lay those together, right? The next loop is going to be black and white. I want the white to be on the outside of the loop, the black to be on the inside. So there's the white. And let me get a six inch black. Where's my six inch black? Right here. That's going to go on the inside. So that one's going to be face up. Okay. And for our last loop, we're going to go back with the green and the diamond dust again in the four inch. So green face down diamond dust face up, right? Now, even them up as, as best as you can at the top. Now we're going to take the four inchers and we're going to make a loop, bring them up and hold on. Now we're going to take the two six inch pieces, make the loop, even them up at the top, Hang on to them. And then we're going to take the two 8 inch pieces. Make the loop. Bring it up to the top. And then kind of adjust as needed. This green looks like it's a little bit longer than everything else. But for the most part, we are even. I'm going to tap it down and throw in a staple. You can do these each individual loop. So let's go ahead and do that. That is one loop. I'm alternating loops. I've got a few made. So let me do this to try and make it easier. So here's the outside loop. I want white on the outside, black on the inside, rough sides together. And if you want to throw a staple, it's just gonna make it more bulky at the top. All right. Then we're gonna go with the green and the diamond dust. I want the green on the outside, diamond dust on the inside. And then back to the black and white. I want the black on the outside, diamond, uh, the white on the inside. Okay, these are the four inch, six inch, eight inch. And then you can just stack them up together. White on the outside, black on the inside, and then the green on the outside, diamond dust on the inside. And then I want the black on the inside, outside. Black's going on the outside. You see how that's going to make it more bulky? And then we're going to do the same thing. It's really, really similar. In fact, it's exactly the same as the heart loop chain. but we're gonna attach these in a different way. Get them as even as you can on the top, tap them down so they're pretty well even there and throw you in a staple. Here they are side by side. It's exactly the same. This one is just a little bit bulkier. All right, let's attach. 
I went ahead and cut a green uh, 24 inch and then I, I doubled it. So there's 48 inches of ribbon here. And this is the 5 8 as well. And then I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to put my clip up here. And I'm going to start down here. Attaching everything. So I don't want this at the bottom. So I'm going to alternate these. So I'm basically going to start it right here. I'm just laying it right beside. And throw in a staple. All right. And then I'm going to go up every two inches and put another loop. So I'm going to have the ones with the diamond dust on the outside going up one side and the ones with the white on the outside going up the other. Okay. So that's about two inches from there to there. Throw in a staple. Leave them laying sideways. It'll help keep it straight for you. White over here. Going up two inches from this one. And that's where I'm going to line that up. Diamond dust on this side. Up two inches. Y'all, this goes together really quick once you get all of your ribbons cut. White over here. Two inches up. diamond dust. Takes no time to put it together. White. That's about two inches. And then the last diamond dust, I made four of each. Make sure I'm lined up correctly. And there we go. Now, let's bling these out. Okay. I have a lot of white and silver and green showing, so I want to bring in some more of the black. And Hyla graciously gifted me this, and I am going to cut this right down the middle, and I'm going to cut eight pieces to glue on. And these are the perfect size to cover up all of those staples and the perfect width for this ribbon. All right, let me just start on one side and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue where I know it needs to go. And I'm going to make sure I have my bling facing the same direction. So I want it all facing this way. The other side of the staple is not going to show. It's in behind the other teardrop. Okay. 
Okay, other side, and we will be done. Um, bling facing the other direction. There we go. And that is done. I have one staple showing right here, but we are going to cover that up just like we did the other ones. This stuff is really heavy, heavy duty. Let me make sure that I've got it facing the same direction as the others. There we go. Okay. All right, y'all, that's it. I told you, it's super, super simple, quick to put together. Just like the heart loops, same thing, but they're upside down. Look how pretty they look. Okay. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Leave me some heart emojis, some purple, some red, some yellow. Um, if y'all are in the mom family, you know what those are for. All right, thank you for joining me. Share pictures if you make this in our Facebook group. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload or that I go live. Thank y'all, I'll see you soon, bye.